Hello, my name is Lori Radin, certified life coach and founder of Momnificent. Have you ever noticed how women, especially moms, um, tend to put their needs and self-care on the back burner, waiting for that ideal time to do something for themselves? I bet you've probably already learned that time for self-care never comes. Today I want to talk to you about the importance of practicing self-care. And first I want to share a quote from Patrick Williams and Lloyd J. Thomas uh, from a book called Total Life Coaching. And they say, everyone has needs. Some needs are related to survival. Some are related to safety. Some are related to comfort. Some are related to growth. Some are related to stability. Some are related to change. Some are related to happiness. Some are universal. Some are individual. Regardless of what they are, we all have needs. This past summer, I was involved in a project of decluttering my entire house. And if you're interested in kind of following that, uh, that journey, you can uh, go to my blog at www.themomcoach.com, and uh, you'll see just kind of a whole journal of what, uh, what happened throughout the summer uh, with that project. Now, some of you probably might be wondering, why would I take so much time to do that, to declutter my entire house? Others may wish that they could have a completely decluttered house. Those of you that long for the same thing I did could, like me, have strong needs for peace and organization. Other moms might be struggling to lose weight or find time for friends, increase intimacy with their husband, or find a more rewarding career. Regardless of what actions you're taking in your life or trying to take, it all stems from your needs. What happens more often than not is moms are so busy taking care of everyone else's needs that their own personal needs are often pushed aside and sometimes even completely ignored. So how do you even know what your needs are? Most of us are pretty good at identifying our basic physical needs. Like, I am hungry, I need to get something to eat. I am tired, I need to get some sleep. I have a headache, I need to take some Tylenol. I don't have money to pay my bills. I need some more money. But it's the more complicated emotional needs that often pose challenges with understanding our needs. So maybe you're feeling confused and you don't know what you need. Or how about, I'm unhappy. What do I need? I feel angry. What need is being threatened? I feel afraid. What need do you fear losing? Our unidentified and unmet needs create emotional energy in our lives. In other words, your emotions are the key to identifying what you need. When you are experiencing emotions like anger, fear, sadness, frustration, guilt, or any other emotion that is zapping your energy, then it's time to pay attention to your needs. Get in the habit of honoring your feelings and taking time to ask yourself, what do I need right now? So why even care about identifying and meeting your needs? Let me share just a story with you about how that can just be life-changing. Um, Amy came to me about six months ago feeling disorganized and unfulfilled in her role as a mom. She'd recently been laid off from a career that she loved, and she found herself at home with her children, unhappy and dissatisfied with her life. After participating in a program that I gave her called the Needless Program, she had a very clear picture of what her needs were, and she was able to set up a plan to meet her needs. I recently received a card from her, and these were her words to me. You have really allowed me the opportunity to get to know myself, my needs, and how to release negative emotions. You have helped me in so many ways that words cannot describe how thankful I am that you stepped into my life. When you identify and start meeting all your emotional needs, your life will change dramatically. 
Simply addressing your needs can make the difference between surviving and thriving, unhappiness and happiness, a lack of purpose and fulfillment, and even chaos and peace. Our children have needs. Our husbands have needs. Our employers have needs. Our friends have needs. Everyone has needs. However, if you don't put on your oxygen mask first and address your own needs, you will not have the emotional energy to meet anyone else's needs. Unmet needs become wishful thinking, but consistently meeting your needs is a powerful source of energy for you and everyone around you. In the last lesson of the Momnificent Mom Club, Your Life Coaching Group, we will explore this whole idea of self-care. And you will learn the seven beliefs that stop moms from making themselves a priority. You will identify your top four emotional needs, explore any spiritual needs that need to be addressed. You will understand the importance of and begin taking care of yourself physically. You'll make sure that your mental needs are taken care of. I will show you how to carve out the time to practice self-care. And you will also put together a customized self-care plan that fills your unique needs. To listen to more audio lessons like this one and to learn more or register for the Your Life Coaching Group, which begins April 5th, 2010, please visit www.momnificentgroups.com. That's M-O-M-N-I-F-I-C-E-N-T groups.com. I really hope to meet you in April and become a part of your support team for life.